back, how's it going? And welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. This is gonna be a new series that I'm planning on my, uh, on my channel. Um, I always like to find new things each month to try out. Uh, so I thought to make a my favorites uh, videos per month. And uh, right now I'm filming this, it's July 31st and oh my God, it literally felt like it was May yesterday. <laughs> so the fact that it's July already, I am shook. The summer is just going by so fast. Um, if you guys live in Canada, you know it's really humid right now and it's crazy hot. So hopefully August isn't as humid and as crazy as it has been this whole July. Um, because I upload videos on Thursdays, this will be uploaded on August 1st. But uh, in the spirit of July, I thought to record this on the uh, last day of July. I guess I'm just going to go through my, um, my favorites that I had for this month. So favorite makeup items. Uh, there's been so many that I've tried out. Um, it's been, I've been trying to delve more into the makeup world. I never was really a, a makeup or girly girl. I grew up as a tomboy and um, since I've gotten older, I've been more wanting to get into that world. Um, like striving to be, you know, striving to try new things. Um, so makeup has been something that has completely changed my whole dynamic as a person, completely changed um, my perspectives on life, and it's been, it's actually helped me in a lot of social situations too. Um, I just, I, I love it so much. But anyways, my favorite so far has been the Benefit Cosmetics uh, eyebrow pencil. It's the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number three. Um, it's my perfect shade. I love this pencil. <laughs> I would recommend this to anyone who's looking for an eyebrow product. It's so simple. It's got the two different ends, one for the actual pencil and one for the brush. Um, it's just so easy to use. I'm sad because I'm run low and I need to get a new one and it's been so hard just to find some time to drive to the mall and get another one. But Benefit, if you see this video, can you send me another brow pencil? I need one for like stat. <laughs> Like, it's because of the summer, the humidity, it's been crazy. My skin has been so dry. Um, one thing that I use both as a primer and as a face base is the Age Define Moisturizer with Squalene by the company called Skin. This has, says moisturizes with a soothing feel. It's literally like almost gone. Like I have maybe like two pumps left of this because I've been using it so much. But it's like super simple, just a pump form action. There is 30 grams of product, which is one fluid ounce, which is actually quite a bit of product for a moisturizer. The price of this retails for this here, <laughs> um, which I think is a pretty awesome price for a moisturizer. Uh, this, I literally, like I, like I said, I've been using this all of this month and it's almost gone, so I definitely need to get another one of those. The humidity has been killing my hair and it's just been, a crazy crazy month for frizz and also for hair damage now because I have uh, really brittle hair because of my both my condition and my genetics and have thinning hair as well I can't wash my hair every single day or else it just falls out <laughs> so I have to use dry shampoo in between and my favorite dry shampoo has to be the Batiste shampoo uh, plus with the heavenly volume shine stopping this thing has save my life on I don't know how many occasions. It's so easy just to spray on super quick. Um, you get these for like eight bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart or like, I think it's like $10 at Rexall. It's, it's just an easy thing. Um, I use it in between shower days uh, just to help take out the grease and shine on my hair. Um, so I'm going to work. It doesn't look like I just walked out of a grease pit. <laughs> Um, these ones usually come in about 200 milliliter bottles and they also come in 6.73 fluid ounces, which is 120 grams. Um, they are vegan, they are not tested on animals, and they are from Britain. So <laughs> definitely, if you guys haven't tried this, definitely try this out. Now, this product may be a little bit difficult for people to get, but I have been using this. I use this every single day. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, I use it every single day. Um, like I said, it is difficult to get because it is a salon product, so you either have to purchase it from a salon if they sell it, and if not, you have to go to a beauty supply store 
and maybe find a friend that owns a uh, hair salon or makeup artist card that can purchase from these places because this product is not sold in regular stores. So, um, but I still want to put this in my favorites video um, because I love it. The reason why I have this product is because my aunt is a hairdresser and I get all of my hairdressing and um, and even my salon needs from her. Um, so this bottle has literally a lot, I think I got this from her, I wanna say six months ago, and it still is like full, like it's a full bottle. So it's the Revlon Equav Instant Beauty with Hydro Nutri nu yeah. Hydro Nutritive Detangling Conditioner. That is a mouthful. Um, but this thing is amazing. You just spray it all in your hair um, after you take a shower and you dried your hair a little bit, I spray some of this and then continue to dry my hair and it helps get rid of detangling, any fuzz, um, it gets rid of like humidity, air, and just takes the dryness out of your hair and adds moisture back in after you've already stripped that with the shampoo. Um, so this literally has, it's, it's amazing, I use it all the time, I even have one of these bottles in my car because um, when I'm driving to work, I uh, spray a little bit on my hair just to help bring it back to life before I walk in for my shift. Um, these come in 500 milliliter bottles and it's it's a big ball, it gets bigger than my head. So you definitely get your money's worth. Um, they are quite expensive. I think these are like $80, 80, 80 to $90 depending on which list of beauty supply store you're going to. Um, but uh, definitely if you're looking to get something, I would definitely recommend this. Another hair product that I have not been able to live without. Um, this has helped my scalp so much with getting rid of uh, dry flakes and um, helping with uh, just your hair being brittle. It has been the Body Shop Ginger Scalp Care Shampoo. This shampoo, oh my god, it smells like crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does smell crazy. And just because it's such a rich ginger smell, that it kind of gives off of like a very pungent odor. <laughs> um, but it it is amazing. It does wonders for my hair. It makes it so silk and smooth. Um, it helps get rid of the dryness of my head. Um, and there is 400 milliliters, which is 13.5 US fluid ounces in here. Um, it helps with uh, just, yeah, just adding moisture back to the scalp. It's just so great. Um, I use this every single time I take a shower. After my regular shampoo, I use this on top and it has done wonders for my head. Um, I don't remember how much it costs, but I'll put the price in. <laughs> now, anybody that knows me, I am obsessed with perfumes, scents, things like that. Um, I use them all the time on the daily, even when I'm just at home. I just want to smell something new, I just put some perfumes on me. Um, so I got this don't judge me. <laughs> I was broke and I needed something a quick. So I have been using the La Bella Parfum perfume. This is from Giant Tiger. Do not judge me. <laughs> it was $5 and you know what? For $5 you get a lot of freaking product. It's about the size of my face and it is amazing. I think there is, there is 3.4 fluid ounces, which is 100 milliliters of product in here. Which is a lot. I mean, I got this two months ago and I still have quite a bit. I use this every single day and there's still so much left in the bottle. Um, it's cute. It smells really fresh. It's it's really subtle, but it stays for a while so it doesn't all of a sudden disappear after five seconds, uh, which I hate uh, from perfumes. So definitely a something to pick up. Books. Oh my god. I love books. And I am going to be making a uh, another series about all about books, which I'll talk about later on in this video. But my favorite book this month that I have just started to read um, was the I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. I love Shane. Um, I've always loved him. I fell in love with him even more when I watched his and uh, Jeffree Star's collab. And I was watching his with like Jake Paul and like all those other uh, documentaries and docuseries that he has out. And I just started reading this and I also purchased the It Gets Worst collection of essays as well. Um, I just, I love it. I love the, the art style of the book. I love reading it. Um, it's just, it's, it's amazing. I don't know what else to say. Um, I love being able to read about different people's lives and kind of delve into their perspective. Um, just because it's nice to learn new things and it's also nice to see the world from someone else's 
few. Um, everyone goes through life and does has different experiences um, and it's always nice to read about it. So one of my favorite genres of books is autobiographies and biographies because it's nice seeing how a person lived their life and how they um, how they overcame difficulties and struggles and uh, what, what you can learn from them, which I think is pretty cool. I also got this off of Amazon. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like 15 bucks. Um, I didn't get it directly from Shane's store because a lot of them were all sold out. So I did get this from another store, um, but I bought it new. So um, I think it was 15 bucks that I paid this. And then when the, the it, gets, it Gets Worse collection, I think I paid like $11 for that. Now I love technology. Um, I'm a huge gamer and technology fan. And um, one thing that I've been obsessed with this month is my Instax Mini 9 camera. I got this as a birthday gift last year and I have been using it like crazy this summer. Um, there's just so many things, so many memories I want to take care of. And I didn't, I grew up in the Polaroid generation, but I never owned a Polaroid. Um, it kind of just switched over to digital cameras and then I owned a digital camera. So I never got the feeling of having a Polaroid camera and I've always wanted to make myself a photo wall and like string up the photos on like pegs. Um, that's always been my dream to have. So collecting photos right now has been uh, a journey for me. I love taking photos of memories. Um, I love writing on the back of them and saying like this is what happened and it's been it's been great. Um, I'm definitely looking to get a photo album for this guy so that I could put all of my photos and memories into it and look back at it later and uh, just enjoy. I did receive this as a gift. I don't know how much it is. I'll probably put the price here. <laughs> now everyone who knows me knows that I am a plushy like whore. <laughs> I have so many different plushies and stuffed animals and it's it's a it's a problem <laughs> but it's also a good like great love of mine. Um, I love collecting and I love just having mountains of stuffed animals. Um, unfortunately, my mountain has been put into storage, um, but I did want to bring something along with me. So I went out to Pacific Mall with a great friend of mine, Jenny, and uh, we decided to get some plushies from the official Pokemon store. So I got myself Lapras. She's still in her packaging, um, but she looks so freaking cute. Um, she is from the original, like the official Pokemon store. Um, this, she was expensive. This was like $30, um, but I love it. The stitching is amazing. Um, she's just, she's beautiful. One of my favorite Pokemon to honestly to date. Um, always been my favorite ever since I was a kid. And Pokemon Stadium, she was always in my team <laughs> for sure. So um, I'm so happy that she's here and I'm gonna be able to have a little bit of a friend. Favorite movie this month. Wow, there has been so many movies that came out this early summer. Um, it's been kind of crazy. I've been catching up on a lot of them. Um, I like to download movies and watch it on my own time. Um, but one movie that I watched specifically this month, it didn't come out this month, but I watched it specifically this month and it's like it stuck with me. The story, the artistry, and just the overall, I don't know, the, I guess the essence of the movie speaks so much to me. And it was called Alita Battle Angel. And at first I was like, this is going to be anime-esque. It's going to be um, basically a fighting story. And it was nothing actually really like that. It was completely different. The actual, the characters were so relatable. The uh, story itself was so loving and it was a really interesting take on um, finding out who you are, making your own identity for yourself, and fighting for what's right. And um, I think it was one of the, literally one of the greatest movies I've seen this summer so far, and definitely for this month. Um, I would recommend anyone to watch it. Um, definitely go ahead and either purchase it or download it if you can't purchase it. Um, it was, it was, it's a really good movie. <laughs> My favorite TV show that I'm watching, um, I watch a lot of Netflix. I'm not watching really TV much anymore. Um, I literally used to live on my cable box and watch TV all day. Um, for my all time favorite TV show that I will always watch is Judge Judy. <laughs> I love that girl so much. She's amazing. Uh, her savagery, her sass, 
I'm probably just going to make a whole video dedicated to Judge Judy at some point because I love her. Um, literally, Colin gets so angry with me because that's all I watch on my phone is Judge Judy episodes <laughs> on YouTube. Um, I just adore her. I love her idiosms. I love her, um, just her, 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 her speech and like what she says and what she teaches you and it's just... I don't know, she's just an amazing person. I love her so much. Um, but my, to be real here, my favorite TV show this month has to be Sugar Rush, which is on Netflix. Um, it is a baking competition and I love food, so of course I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I think we all know that I love food. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sugar Rush has been such a great show for me to watch. It's so cool seeing uh, bakers from around the world, especially the US, coming in and um, just baking their hearts out and showing what how they would interpret a theme on a plate and it's been it's been really it's been really cool I like seeing all the different creations that are coming out my favorite video game oh my god I guess my I would have to say my favorite one for this month would be Crusader Kings 2 it is such okay I'm gonna be real I've never ever ever played strategy um, turn based games um, I've always been a role-playing fan, I've always been a fantasy MMORPG fan, um, or playing through a story, that's been my thing. But I've never really played turn-based strategy war games, I guess you could call it. Um, Colin introduced me to them, and I, at first I was like, eh, I don't know if I'd like it. And then he found Crusader Kings, and basically it is a turn-based strategy game but you play as a historical figure from real time. So you can choose to be, um, I don't know, one of the duchesses of Italy or whatever, um, which is what I always pick. I always pick uh, playing as a royal noble living in Sicily. And you basically grow your city, you get a court, you have to make decisions as a leader, and you expand, you go to war with your next country, you take over that country, you expand into different territories, and you just, I guess, live. And as you're playing the game, there's so many twists and turns. Uh, Pop-ups will come up and there'll be either, um, you know, people will be having a fight and then you have to determine who who wins. You'd be the judge and the jury for your people. Um, there's gonna be, your counselors are gonna come up to you and be like, I found this way to make the roads better, whatever. So. It's actually, it sounds boring, but it's actually been one of the most interesting games I've ever played. Um, I never knew that something like that I would be interested in. Um, so I definitely would recommend anyone to check it out. And um, there's a lot of mods as well for that game. Um, there's a Game of Thrones mod, which I'm obsessed with. You can become a Targaryen, you can own dragons, um, you can be a Stark and you can have dire wolves. Like it is crazy the amount of stuff that you can do in that game. My favorite treat, oh my god, <laughs> so I love everything, <laughs> it's hard for me to pick a favorite, but one thing I have been eating so much of this month because it's just a great snack when you're on the go or I don't know, like before dinner or pre-dinner or after dinner, whatever, um, is the Aurora Bread Biscuits. Holy shit, <laughs> I have been eating so much of this, it's crazy. I love these things and I'll be putting up pictures and stuff too it is so good it tastes exactly like um I, I grew up Italian so my great aunt and my grandmother would make these things called chamelas and I don't know if any other Italian people know what I'm talking about but they were these basically breadstick pretzels but you would wrap them in like a figure eight almost and you would bake them and with rosemary and they tasted so good so I haven't been able to find anything close to that, and this is the most closest I can get. And I was gonna say a shout out to Aurora. I love you guys. <laughs> you, your company Lynn, makes the most best Italian-esque food I've ever tasted in my life. Um, it's like, I add it to all my recipes, I'll add something from Aurora. So um, if you guys are looking for a company to go with that's like Italian, has Italian-esque foods and are from Italy, then pick Aurora. Uh, their stuff is so good. So I think that's all for me today, guys. Um, before I go, though, I do want to mention the next series that's coming out. So I love books, as I said before in this video. 
I have been reading ever since I could remember and a lot of my friends are really into reading too so I thought hey why don't I make a reading literature club type of series on this channel so that we can connect with that and uh, so the next episode you're gonna see is gonna be called the Wolfpack Reading Club yes it's a lame name but I came up with it last night so that's what it's gonna be um, and uh, we're gonna be talking just about books I'm gonna literally read three books and we're gonna talk about it um, that video will be uploaded at the end of August because I want to give a month to read these books. So the three books that I'm going to be reading for the first episode of WRC. So if you guys want to get these books, go to your local library, go to your local bookstore, which let me just say one thing. If you are a book lover, stop buying from Chapters and Indigo. I love them. They're a great company when you need stuff, but support your local libraries and your bookstores they work so incredibly hard and their passion for books is crazy and it's just really sad because a lot of these places are closing down because they're getting outed by audible and kindle and like all these places plus chapters and indigo which is just killing them right now um and it's sad because libraries are free and you can just take out the book and put it back and if you really really love it then go to a local bookstore and purchase it um, I think for me, I find that the passion from a local bookstore is so much different than going to Chapters Indigo. Um, I can stop an employee at a local bookstore and I can ask them about what their favorite book is and they would show me a whole row of books that they've read and that they love and that they would recommend. I go to Chapters and Indigo and they just say, oh, well, we don't know or they don't care or that they don't read books or they're not a fan of books, they just work there. And it's like, it's become such a corporatized facility that they've lost the passion of books. They've lost the passion of whatever. Um, I feel like they've just become a merchant to sell books and they don't really care about the essence of a book. So definitely support your local libraries and your, um, and your bookstores. So the three books that I'm gonna be reading today, all from the Calvin Public Library, shout out to you guys, I love you so much, um, is The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. Um, Imposters by Scott Westerfield. I love this author and I'm so excited to um, see what this whole thing is about. Um, I have read his other series, The Ugly series, which I will talk about in the other episode, um, but more on that later. Um, and then Poison, I cannot see the author because it is covered by the sticker. I think it's Brenna Zinn, I want to say. It's hard because they have the they have it covered by, one second, I gotta open up the book. <laughs> Bridget Sin, oh my goodness. Okay, so Poison by Bridget Sin is gonna be the next one that I'll be reading. So these are, I have to hold them all up now. <laughs> these are all three of the books that I will be reading. Um, so go ahead and uh, take a look at, uh, at them and uh, read along with me and tell me what you guys think. Um, when the episode comes out at the end of August. So that is all for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this kind of series that I'm doing. Um, let me know if you're interested, if you want to see, if you want to see more. Um, tell your friends to subscribe to join Wolfpack today. Check out my social media links. I am super active on social media, so um, they're all down below at the bottom of this description. As well as check out my merch site. I have so many designs out so many different types of merch stuff available and this is like the first designs that I've come out with with a friend of mine who helped design this stuff for me. Um, I love supporting local artists so definitely check them out. Um, know that what you're buying is you're supporting a local artist that's put their heart and effort into making this design for me. So go ahead and check it out. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!